Hey! Hey guys, what's up? It's been a little while, I know. I think I owe you everybody an apology. Uh, I've been a little busy lately. Jeez, let me tell you, my life's been like a freaking roller coaster lately. It's been like... Anyways, but tonight we're gonna be looking at Da 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 Inspector Gadget on the PlayStation. And in particular, we're gonna be looking at the pause menu. Let's pause um, of the game. Not gonna be getting into the gameplay. You guys know how I do it. Not really into that kind of crap. But we're gonna be looking at the pause menu for Inspector Gadget. Da 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 almost dropped it. All right, and before we do that, as customary, seems like I do this every time, we're gonna be taking a look at the manual for Inspector Gadget. Let's manual! Da -da 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 -da. You're watching Gary, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're going to be taking a look at the manual. Whoop, got a Let's secondary manual. game here. Get that out of here. Um, so right off the bat, you get a ad here for Rayman, also available on the PlayStation. You get a couple screenshots there. Uh, classic, you know, platformer for the PlayStation. Really good game. But in the manual, uh, first of all, you have the table of contents. Uh, kind of telling you where to find everything and let's see Okay. So yeah, all the typical stuff. All right, so this is what we're going to be looking at tonight is the start button pause Pauses the game and opens up the pause menu See page four for more information. So we're gonna go take a look at page four All right now this portion of the manual talks about the end game menus so first of all we get the main menu so Skip right that. here we're looking at the pause menu uh, it kind of breaks it down and gives us a bit of a diagram if you will uh, as you know this symbol means continue um, music volume sound volume quit restart level dual one of the main things yes. I thought this is a pretty unique um, pause menu and I thought it'd be pretty cool to take a look <laughs> all right so now we're going to take a look at the pause menu. Alright guys, so not sure if you guys are too familiar with the 1990s cartoon series Inspector Gadget, but it was a pretty good show. Um, Inspector Gadget was basically this guy um, obviously solving crimes and he had all these different abilities like he could uh, his legs could grow really long or he could turn his legs into like springs and jump really high just things like that um pretty cool character a little bit a little bit of a knock on the james bond um that type of stuff but anyways starting up we got the main menu we're gonna skip right past that we'll take a look at that possibly in another video um but right now we're gonna be looking at the Pause menu. Let's... All right, so you get a little cutscene here. Not too much of a storyline in this game. Again, I don't really care too much about this kind of crap, so hopefully, yeah, I can skip right past that. So, when you hit the pause button, first of all, the music continues, which is a cool feature. Um, I appreciate that. You can also turn down the volume of the music, which is nice. Um, but this is what I was talking about. The symbol system uh, is really unique to this menu. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, obviously, this gets you back into the gameplay. Uh, the green arrow here, this can adjust the music volume. Uh, this, believe... I think that adjusts the sound effect volume and then you can turn the dual shock on or off with those symbols there the little PlayStation controller and then of course the red 
arrow will, I think, get you to quit the game. I'm not sure it's not allowing me to do that. And then the door symbol allows you to quit the game. All right, well, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to take a quick look at the pause menu for Inspector Gadget. I uh, thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you saw something interesting that you didn't think you would necessarily see in a pause menu. That's, that's one, one of the one things, things I just wanted to point out was, was how, how cool and unique the symbol system was for the pause menu in this particular game. Some of the buttons didn't work. Um, not really sure what, why, what was the purpose of the red arrow, but never, nonetheless, it was a great menu. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video series if you want me to continue to do this kind of stuff or if you just want me to fucking stop <laughs>